Alright, just to point this out, we get it right. We're complete polar opposites. But, yeah, we're slightly... Inter are we entertaining? I don't know. I'm pointing it out. <laughs> All right, squigs. Tic tac. Still pointing it out. This is a. You're taking. You're going. I'm bad at charades. What do you call that? What did we do the other ones? A rewind. Rewind. Well, I know that's what you so called it. But I, I thought we called it something else. <laughs> this is a rewind review. We're going back a little ways. Um, what did you think of this one? Is I guess a comedy straight through and through. This is what I'm going to say. I think. Essentially, I think it's a remake of Planes, Trains, and Automobile with uh, Mr. Martin and Mr. Wow. Lincoln. When we said we were rewinding, he really rewound. I'm just saying, you know, if you, if you think about it, right? It's like this horrible <laughs> trip. He's got to get to his family. And he's with his character, and it takes all, you know, it's essentially the same story, but it's a modern retelling. Of you know, now, now it's just playing through my head. I'm just thinking these things through, too. <laughs> Trying to piece it all together and your old, archaic mind of old gear system that you get going on in there. It's called wisdom. <laughs> and that's the word of the day. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. W I S D O M. Wisdom. Not intelligence. Don't worry. <laughs> You'll never spell that one correctly. It's too long. What did you think of the story? As it is a blowback to playing these trains and automobiles. <laughs> um, about this guy's got to get home, and then you know, his wife's going to have a baby, and then this guy he's with makes him think, you know, is the baby actually mine and all this other fun stuff and mm -hmm. just makes him like doubt everything and just gives him the most horrible time you could think of on the way to your birth to your only kid. Make him doubt. Makes him pick apart his character from what he is, the fabric of his character and in the end hopefully make him more of a... And destroy person. him physically as well. Yeah. <laughs> but what did you think of the comedy? I thought the comedy was quite funny. Um, it was pretty nasty in parts. There's a part where the dog's doing himself stuff and there's parts where he's doing the same thing and to me that that was a little over the top like, it's like it's taking a that raunchy comedy to, taking that. that raunchy comedy and bringing it over the top and to me it disturbed me a little bit I mean, especially if you're comparing it to a steve martin movie well he <laughs> was relatively clean he is right? extremely clean like over through and through and then you're looking at this yeah, this like is the raunchy family version. guy there kind of go. thing yeah. yeah this is the uh rated idiot that, yes uh, <laughs> I still thought it was pretty funny. Like it did keep me laughing, and and you know that's that's. I have at to least say though, movies. like it, I laughed a few times, but then another, like especially at the beginning, there's such polar opposites in characters that I didn't know which one I liked. Like, do I support Zach Alphanakis or do I support Robert Downey Jr.? They're two complete opposites, but they give you both like sound characters that you at the start you see. So when they're throwing jokes or they're hating on each other at the very beginning, I'm confused. And I think most of the audience were. Hence the intro, what we did. But I didn't like how that started off, so it led me in wrong. Alright, so still going off on that two characters, let's go on to actors. A Zach Galifianakis. Yes, yes, oh, it's you're a mouthful. happy you pronounce it, yeah. Yes. It's I don't know how I got it. Sometimes I cannot get it, and sometimes it just comes to you. Like they're opposites, and... And it's hard to know. He which. entered that uh, raunchy bit. Of yeah. Everything, so you're like, who do we cheer for? Not sure. Mm -hmm. And so there's that. There's that bit, right? You're just. You because it's like a, a Homer Simpson kind of dumb, or the Peter from Family Guy, really dumb kind of character. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. What did you think of him? Because obviously Iron Man came out before this movie came out. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I thought he did okay. You know, nothing. Nothing special. I mean, he was taking the brunt of the action. So really, for him, I think his part was all about reacting, right? Because I think a lot of this movie was probably ad-libbed. But I, I thought uh, Robert actually did a really good job. You can be calling him Robert. Robert Downey Jr. You can't just call him Robert. You're not his friend. <laughs> I mean, I can say Zach. Why is that? Hey, Zach, Zach, Zach Galifianakis has been in Edmonton. There you go. And he was here yeah. just taking in some sounds and sights. Um, then there's Jamie Foxx and Michelle yeah. Monaghan. Who play um, really tiny, tiny pieces. But... A total of two minutes each. It's really low budget, I think. Anyway, it's just the two of them the entire you're thing. You're paying process. Robert Downey Jr. It's not low budget anymore. <laughs> forking it out, forking it out. Though I imagine Zach Calvin Hackis maybe he doesn't get paid the most. He think... probably just gets paid in candy. I can see him being the type yeah, of person yeah. that's just like, dude, you should pay me food. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's probably why he showed up in Edmonton. Alright, I'll start this one. And I'm going to give it... Two and a half, just standard, right up average coffee cans. How about you? I was actually going to give it a two and a half, too. There you go. Wow. 
for being complete polar opposites, we came to the end. The same review. I like the one half. You like it on the other half. Two halves make a whole. Well, not when it's out of ten. It is half, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> Five out of ten coffee cans. On to the next review. And that's why I don't do math. Just pointing it out. <laughs>